Good morning students. Welcome to Standard 1 English Language Class. Today I am going to teach you complete the lines. Let us start with the first sentence. I cannot. Now I cannot. So you have to write something which you cannot do. So what you cannot do? You can write I cannot ride a bicycle. I cannot ride a horse. You can write anything like that. I cannot ride a bicycle. And then you have to put a full stop. Next, may I? You are asking something. May, that means this is a question. You will write, may I come in? May I come in? And since this is a question, you will put a question mark. Clear? Next, why is? This is also a question because it's beginning with why. So what can you write here? Why is she laughing? Why is Seema crying? Why is she laughing? And this is a question. So you will put a question mark. Clear? Now remember students that after why there is is. So whatever you will use here that should be singular. Clear? Next. May. Now this May is the month one. So what can you write about May? You can write May is the fifth month of the year. Clear students? May is the fifth month of the year. Clear? Next. I never. So you will write something which you never do. So what can you write? I never tell lies. I never tell lies. And then you will put a full stop. So this is the way how you have to do complete the lines. Moving on to the next question that is choose the correct answer. Here two options are given in the question. You have to choose the correct answer. Let's start with the first one. Number one. A hammer is for hitting, cutting things. So within the brackets there are two options given. So you have to choose the correct option and then you have to tick that. So a hammer is used for what? Hitting or cutting? It is used for hitting things. So here you will put a tick. Next, we hear with our ears, eyes. Now you hear with your ears. So here you will put a small tick. Number three, Radha, go goes to school every day. Now, Radha is singular. And as you all know that with third person singular, we add S or ES to the verb. So, we will not choose go. We will choose goes. Radha goes to school every day. Understood why we are using goes and not go? Because with third person singular, we add S or ES to the verb. If here would have been the children. The children is plural. So with that you will use go. The children go to school every day. Did you get the different students? Okay, the next one. Yesterday the teacher draw, drew a picture. Now we are talking about yesterday. So since this question is in the past tense, you will use the past form of the verb. Now draw is present tense and drew is past tense of draw. So here you will use 
drew a picture because the sentence is beginning with yesterday and it is showing that the sentence is in the past tense. So, what will be the answer? Yesterday, the teacher drew a picture. Clear? Next. Number five. The children do not tell tells lies. Now, here, this tell is the present tense and here we have added S to the verb. So, here we are having the children. So, children is plural. So, with plural form of noun, we do not use S or ES form of verb. We use the simple present tense. So, what we will choose? We will choose the children do not tell lies. Now, this sentence number 3 and sentence 5. These are opposites. As I told you before, this is singular. So, this is taking S-E-S form of verb and this is plural. So, we are taking the simple present tense without S or E-S. Clear students? Moving on to the next question that is make sentences. Here students, words are given and you have to frame sentences from the words. So before starting, remember one thing that your sentence will begin with a capital letter and it will end with a full stop. Let's start with the first one. Never. With never, what can you make? You can write, I never ride a bicycle. I, your I will be capital. Never ride a bicycle. And it will end with a full stop. Number two, children. The children are playing in the park. Your T will be capital. The children are playing in the park. Number three. Funny. What can you write? A clown is a funny person. A clown is a funny person. Funny means someone who makes us laugh. Funny person. Number four, brave. Brave is a brave boy. Brave is a Brave boy. Next, policeman. A policeman catches thieves. A policeman catches thieves. Clear students? So what we studied today? We studied, complete the lines, choose the correct answer and how to frame meaningful sentences. The worksheets related to these will be uploaded on your school website. Kindly go through them. That's all for today students. Thank you.